So in today's video, I just wanted to walk through a demonstration of a quick model that I've been playing around with on Hugging Face, and it's called Colors Virtual Try-On. And you can see here that it is using a person image as the reference of the person. Then you're uploading a garment image, which is a piece of clothing that you'd want to see your picture wearing. And then the output is going to be over here on the right. So a use case that I could see this becoming useful for would be, for example, in e-commerce in the apparel industry, giving customers the ability to quickly and easily upload an image of themselves and then getting an idea of what a particular article of clothing might look like on themselves. So we're going to go ahead and click to add a person image, and I'm going to add an image of myself here. Then I'm going to come underneath garment image. And I'm going to go ahead and first pick this orange shirt. I'll then go ahead and click Run. So as you can see, it does add some artifacting to the shirt. It's not as smooth as this fabric looks, but it gives me a little bit of an idea of what this particular shirt might look like on myself. And you'll see that it's actually removed any reference of my black shirt. And all of the sleeve lengths are equal to each other. Um, it does kind of make me look a little chubbier than I actually am in this picture over here. But all in all, for a free uh, virtual try-on capability, I think it's pretty impressive. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try a different piece of clothing. And I'm going to pick this chicken t-shirt. Those of you that know me know that I have chickens and I get a kick out of them. So I'm going to go ahead and click Run. And as you can see, now I'm wearing that t-shirt. And again, it's making me a little chubbier than I actually am in this reference photo over here. Now, the next thing I want to try is adding a little bit of complexity to this. So I have a picture of myself similar to this, but I'm actually crossing my arms. And so that's going to add some complexity as to how the image is going to render because my arms should be covering part of the image on the t-shirt itself. I'm going to go ahead and remove this person image, and then I'm going to pick the one with my arms crossed. There we go. I'm going to keep the t-shirt the same, and I'm going to go ahead and click Run. There you go. T-shirt's on. My chubbiness is gone. <laughs> and you can see that my arms are pretty accurately covering over the part of the image that would be covered by my arms being crossed. Some of the color does get kind of faded in the output image and you can see some artifacts in the back like the tree in the background here that doesn't exist over here uh, but all in all like I said for a free model that you can kind of play around with this can be kind of fun because you can actually go through and see how different things look let's say for example I want to try this Gucci t-shirt there you go I'm wearing a Gucci t-shirt now <laughs> 